Rosecrans Vic Podcast, and I'm joined by Bandit the Mac. Yes, sir. What's the deal, bro? How you feeling? Shit, I'm feeling good to be here. I'm not yes, gonna lie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a trip. You were telling me that, like, you're like, yeah, I seen this, I seen that. I'm like, yo, you never know who's watching. Nah, you for real. Yeah, I've been watching you for a minute. Me and my boy uh, Rose Cairns, Mike. Like I told you, we, we yeah, up in the podcast and all that. That's so. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, back to you. Um, I've been listening to the music. Really big fan. Appreciate it. Um, one thing is like that stands out to me is like your voice. It's like. It's very commanding. It's like, oh, like, damn. It's like, this, the shit you're saying, it, it really comes off as like, I'm convinced. Like, you're telling the truth. You know? <laughs> like, right. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, just tell me about, like, I, I went to, like, do some research, and it's like, you haven't been releasing music very long. Am I am I right? Or well, is like it? 10 months. Ten, exactly. Yeah, okay. So, tell me about what made you want to just start rapping, putting music out, like, the mm. whole, like, inspiration behind that. Really? Being like locked up, like um, rapping, like was I, I feel like played a big part. Like one, cause a lot of people in there rap, and two, like I had already kind of like um, freestyled in front of the homies and stuff. But I feel like it's nothing else better to do. Might as well like give it a shot. Yeah. So I just kept going, kept going. Then I start seeing people like from the IE start to go up, like doing yep. their music shit. And I'm like, all right, maybe like I could do it. Yeah. Then my boy Buddha, I seen him start going up and rap. I'm like, all right, for sure. Like I got somebody to do it with. My boy S3. Yeah. Like, for sure. Like it's not going to, I got people to do it with. So it's exactly. not just, you know? It makes it more fun. Exactly. That's dope. Okay. So you said you were locked up. How long were you locked up for? Um, Like 22 months. 22 like months? Two years. Yeah. Wow. But you're, how old are you? I'm 19. I just turned 19. Wow. So you were locked up. What from sixteen to eighteen? Sixteen to eighteen. You missed yeah. those whole and those then before whole before that. It was like fifteen to sixteen. I was like down for like eight months. Wow, that that makes sense. Um, in one of your songs, you said uh, you down for like the last four years, or like you said you missed like the last. What did you say? It was like something like, um, you missed like the last couple, probably couple birthdays. Yeah, it was it was something like that. Um, wow. So you were locked up for almost three years, like all together. Um, a little mini. And what does that like do to you, like in terms of like you don't see your family, or does your family come visit? Like what? Uh, from time to time, I didn't really like visits because, like, I don't know. It's just I didn't like see, like my people seeing me like that. Mm. Uh, we used to do like Zoom calls and shit. Okay. I would Zoom call people, uh, you know, talk on like the the phones and shit. Yeah. But yeah, it was hard for sure not seeing my people. And while you're in there, are, do you have access to like seeing like? to what's going on like phones music like <laughs> are you like completely disconnected or is um, like um nah disconnected nah like okay. uh i actually like i used to watch your uh your videos while you were on, locked on up God in heaven. wow yeah that's crazy so you guys do have access to like ipads and shit like that or like <laughs> nah like computers computers like, if you go to school like you got access to the computer ah okay 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 um what did you get locked up for uh some robberies ah okay okay like like flocking or like uh, I some, mean, I don't some stick up kids. Oh shit. shit! Okay, okay, okay. Type shit. Yeah. Um. So how does that like? I mean, obviously, it's like it's Hemet. Like the reputation. I'll just tell you from my LA point of view is like, damn. Like there's not a lot to do over there, but it's also dangerous, right? Type shit. So how do you get just like get involved in that? Is it like just the just hustling like the need for money, or? Like you want fly shit or what? What is like the just kind of like the motivation behind it? Or is like fuck? There's nothing better to do. Like might as well play like Grand Theft Auto in real life. All of it, like of course, like you see, you see the other homies with all the fly shit. They got uh, the whips. They got all the yeah. You know, the females and all that. So yeah, nigga gonna want that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga gonna want that. So yeah. I feel like that was like the motivation. But yeah. At the time, like I'm so young, I'm not thinking like I'm going about it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. So I'm just you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Um. And so, you know, you're locked up for three years. Are you writing raps in there or are you just um, like freestyling or what? what's like the... At first, I wasn't really writing. I was more like, how long, like, you know, like real life, like, mm-hmm. fuck, how long I'm going to be going, shit like yeah. that. Then when I realized, like, nigga not going home no time soon, that's mm-hmm. when I kind of started writing. But yeah, yeah I, I would write like in a notebook for sure. It's like to, because you, you have to have some sort of like, almost like, escape plan right for it's sure. like you're in there but you need some type of hope because it's like man i can't go out there and do the same shit i've been doing and end up back in here exactly um what also like besides rapping like what else kept kept you like hopeful 
um, it was a new law that had passed. It was like, I was probably like 16, 17 months in already. A law had passed pretty much saying every day you do, you can get a day taken off. Okay. And so I'm like, all right, if they doing that, then like I'm free already. So um, it put in this emotion. I got out earlier like than expected. Nice. So you got out at 18? Uh, yeah, 18. Okay. And you were planning on getting, on being locked up till when? Till like? Till like, um, I would it would have been till this July. No way. Yeah, so like that whole like eight months, nine, ten months, I would have been done. Wow. Okay, so you get out, you're 18, and what's that first feeling like? Like, damn, I'm free for like damn near the first time in like three years. That shit ain't feel real. I held my phone. I'm like, like my phone felt weird. I forgot my password and shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I couldn't log into my Instagram, and then I ain't had no number, so I couldn't call none of the homies. I'm like, fuck. Wow. Yeah, but it was, it was different, though, for sure. Yeah. And you get home, do you also have like a sense of... um? like institutionalized like did you feel a little bit like that like because like i'll let you know like when chito got out mm -hmm. he was locked up for like four years mm -hmm. and i realized that like he didn't like to be outside like he he came straight here damn near mm -hmm. and he was just in here and he didn't really want to leave he would bounce to different rooms mm -hmm. but i could tell he kind of felt more comfortable being in like a confined space and we would tell him like bro go outside go to the beach but he hated being outside for and, really? and i understand he was only out for like less than a month you know like his mm -hmm. total time of like he was out was like a month so it's a, like a readjustment period did you feel that in any type of way um outside not nah, cuz okay. well him i could see cuz like he was inside most mm -hmm. like a lot of his term but yeah. uh, we was going outside and shit so oh, I see. outside like now nah, was smooth um uh, i was like bigger when i got out so like my house kind of felt small my like, <laughs> shit felt small yeah um, well, that's like, yeah, that's like the peak of your like growing and shit, like 15 to 18. It's yeah, like, like you go in as a kid, you come out as like a real young man. Like the peak teenage years. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, like different little things like, okay, I can eat whenever I want. Yeah. Or like, um, like I can go wherever the fuck I want. I'm not in one place all day. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it was Just to different. have the freedom back. Yeah, for sure. Um, This is going to be kind of a stupid question, but did you feel like upset about missing like like high school because it seemed uh, like you come near damn near didn't even really do high school like that like prom yeah. all that shit like a little bit i was like i was thinking about it i'm like damn like a lot of like i see the homies going up and shit i'm like damn i'm missing a lot of shit yeah i'm like fuck it like when when i was doing when i was doing what i was doing like i, I knew the consequences so yeah. it was like i couldn't cry about it but i was like yeah for sure like this is not it yeah oh god so you get out and you get, you know, back into stuff. Like, did you automatically be like, all right, I'm going to go get a job? Or did you just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to just start rapping? So when I got Was out. Was it a combination of the cause, two? Because um, I graduated early as fuck. I okay. graduated like 16 That's in uh, juvenile hall because it's only like 130 credits to graduate. Yeah. So um, I started doing college and shit, nice. financial aid. So when I bounced out, I had like a little bag. Oh, so, okay, um, cool. So I ain't have a job yet. Yeah. I pro I'll probably like two months and then um after I, I got a job. But uh that like two months, that it, that shit was smooth. Yeah. Well it's also a readjustment period. Like you don't wanna go straight to like just living normal life totally. You kinda have to have like like, like you said, you didn't have freedom. Yeah, yeah you didn't have freedom for that long. Um, okay, so you get out and then you have a little bag. So you do you start investing that into like videos or music or Yeah, exactly that. Um a couple other little shit but yeah yeah mostly um studio time and then i got my first video i wanted to uh it was isaiah i wanted oh, yeah. it to be like a high quality so uh, i hit him up Shout he, had, uh, <laughs> he had put up to Amy. he had left he pulled up smooth he left he he's like man I'm, yeah he's like i'm never coming back <laughs> <laughs> i swear to god or everything i learned yeah like i'm never coming back but uh yeah for sure like videos was a big part yeah okay so you that's funny that he said he's never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> funny as fuck. Yo, I dated a girl at Hemet, like, sh briefly, very briefly. Mm. Well, technically, she lives in San Jacinto, but it's, like, right on the border. Yeah. I remember driving out there one time and just thinking I was wilding. I was like, yo, I'm wilding <laughs> for driving 90 minutes <laughs> to go meet up with this girl and then end up in a shady Motel 6 by uh, in and out You know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it go, it I just remember down. being like, yo, I'm I'm so wild. Cause I'm at, by that time I'm like 26. And I'm just like, <laughs> why am I doing this? Like I just, there's plenty of bitches back home. Like, I mean, she was bad, but like it's just like I'm never literally the same exact thoughts. Like never I'm never back coming here. back here. <laughs> I don't think I have sense. Maybe it's like casinos. 
type shit. But um, okay, so you invest in a video. Uh, what video is that? Uh, do a man for do a man. Potent. Okay. How did you know what like video to shoot for, or did you send it to like Isaiah and be like, what video should I shoot, or like how do you know like okay, I need to, you know, because rapping is like nobody gives you an instruction manual, mm-hmm. right? It's like how do you know like okay, I got to go to studio, I got to do this, I got to pay engineer, like who kind of puts you onto that information? So um, when I got locked up, I'd already like kind of rapped before. I've been to okay. a studio and shit. Yeah. But when I made my plan, I kind of went over like like all the checks. Like all right, um, like doing men the the first video I shot to, I wrote in jail. So okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot to this. I kind of had like an idea where I wanted to do it at. Like yeah. I already knew like I wanted this to be a lot of people and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had like these little MP3s, mm. and I used to download beats on them. So a lot of like, I probably say like my first like t- six, seven songs, I already had the beats to in jail. Wow! So I, I just got out, had to record them, and it was over. Perfect. Okay, so you kind of already did your research before really getting in. Yeah. That that way, it was just kind of more like getting the shit done, more like a checklist. Exactly. Because yeah, it's like a lot of people like when I got into like blogging and media and shit. It's like mm. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just like. Uh, nobody really put me on either, but I was just kind of like learning as I went. Right. But there is a little somewhat of a rap manual if you know it. It is like go to studio, record, get beats, hire a video guy, start a YouTube, start a SoundCloud, mm-hmm. get a distro kid type shit. So, yeah. um, okay, so you do that. You, you uh, shoot the video for Doom In, and then do you start to get traction early from mm-hmm. that, or do you, like what video did you start to get like some like more attention? I'll say Doom Man kind of like had like a little bit of a, a little hype around it. Yeah. Um, like city wise. Yeah. And then like Dizzler had posted this, so that was kind of like fire. Cool. Shout out to Homes um, at Dizzler. Traction, nah, I wouldn't say like nothing too crazy. Yeah. Um, after like a couple songs, that's like when a couple numbers start coming in. Yeah. And um, stuff like that. Do Do you remember any particular moment where you're just like, oh shit, this is going up? Like, was it like a certain benchmark for you? Like, oh, 20,000. 50,000 um, views or... I'm not going to... Bro, I was at work. Bro, it's crazy as fuck. I was at work with my nigga Evan. We were talking like... Uh, we was talking about Rambo, like his music and shit. Yeah. I'm like, this nigga Rambo needs to drop. <laughs> bro, we walking... We on lunch. We walking like around the warehouse. I used to work at the warehouse. Yeah. Um, I look. This nigga Rambo follow me. Oh, like, shit. I'm like, whoa. I show him. He's Damn. like, whoa. He's like, nigga, like, how do you feel? Yeah. I'm like, this shit crazy. Like, you got to take it serious now. Like, it's, yeah. it's not just no fuck around in the, in the studio no more. So you got influence now. Yeah. That's super fire. Were you already a fan of Rumble's music? Yeah, I would call myself a fan, yeah, for sure. And I don't, I don't do that for a lot of artists. Yeah, but uh, he, act, like, I feel like a a lot of a lot of artists don't really like be talking about shit for real. Yeah, but he, like, he, he really be talking this shit. Yeah, and his new shit is crazy. That's that's funny that you were like, man, this we need to drop. I feel like the whole world was thinking that. Man, and I love how he capitalized on it. Like, where's Rumble? That Didn't even show perfect. up to his own video. That like I'm perfect. just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's on a like a different level with this shit. And he's very self aware. Cause the whole city was like, bro, what's up? Like, where how are you gonna just drop these fire songs and dip the fuck out? Like, how's how's that fair? <laughs> okay, so um you Rembo follows you and you start to kind of take things more serious. Um and obviously this is all taking place in like, you know, a short span. So um I understand that, but like what was there like another? Do you remember the moment when you hit like a hundred k on a video and you're just like, oh shit, like what's going on? Or like, yeah, what what was that feeling like? Like, bro, because I remember the night we did the video, like, um, JoJo Buzz, like we weren't even gonna do the video. JoJo Buzz hit me like, like shoot, yeah, I'm like fuck it, we shot it. But it's crazy to think something that wasn't even gonna happen can like go that far. Yep, that's that was my mindset. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what else can? What else can do this? Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, so the first song that I really loved from you was Squabble and Rap. Tell me about the inspiration behind that. I mean, it's, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but, like, I just kind of want to hear the story. Uh, like I told you in jail, like, so that, that um, I'll say, like, my like when I first got there, like, my first month, first couple months, like, nigga was fighting, getting in trouble and shit. Yeah. Then, like, you don't want to fuck up the program no more. You in there for a long time. You want to chill out a little yeah. bit. Um, that's why I like squabbling and rap. I'm squabbling and rapping and shit. Yeah. It's it's really not much else to do. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's shit to do, but <laughs> I'm like the main thing. It's just funny because, like, I started, like, thinking about, like, my homies. Like, my best friend, Swift, like, he's, he's a rapper, too. Mm. And, like, we've gotten in plenty of fights. Like, and so I'm just, like, listening to a song. I'm like, 
all my homies do is squabble and rap. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I feel it. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> it's real life. I got a bunch of, like, rapper homies, too. And it's like, yeah, that's that's really what happens. It just, and and so it's, it was relatable. And then I also love, um, I need to post. <laughs> yeah. That is that is hilarious. Because um, I'm I'm always arguing with the homies. Like, you got to post something, bro. Like, yeah. what the fuck? You're here. You're doing this. You got to post something, bro. Um, tell me about the inspiration behind that song. Um, it was really, like, Isaiah, Isaiah managing me, telling yeah. me like, you want to go up, like you could, like you got the potential. He's like, but yeah. you have to be seen, like you got to drop, you got to drop. Yeah. But my mindset too, I'm like, it's like, it's like real life shit going on. Like, of course. I, like it's it's shit going on. I'm not dropping it as much as I want to, but you know, but um, yeah, it was kind of like a, a little ironic in the song for me. Yeah. Because like he kind of like actually said the shit to me. Yeah. And I kind of actually like gave him a response, but um. Yeah, when I made it, um, when I made it, I didn't think like it was really going. I thought it was going to do okay. But I didn't think it was going to do like that good. Yeah, like like my top two songs. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, it's super dope. Um, another thing I noticed is repping for Hemet super hard, the hometown. Hell yeah. Um, just tell me about embracing that, like where you're from, and and even like the surrounding areas, like putting people on. Like you guys have your own lingo. Like, I'm picking up on, I'm just like, okay, like, this means this, this means that. Like, okay, certain food thing I can't talk about in the interview. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. Um, but just tell me about, like, embracing where you're from and, and like, you know, that lingo. Because, like, I remember first, when I first interviewed Stink Team, I literally had a list of, mm. like, words. I'm like, tell me what this means. Tell me what this means. Tell me what this and it And to me, that's like... It's fun. Like, yeah. as, as, like, a rap fan, it, it just puts me back into that, like, I love to be, a, like, a rap nerd fan and break down bars. So just tell me about, like, your guys' lingo and, and you know, what uh, the differences between, like, Hemet and, like, the rest of the world. Uh, Hemet, like, if you from Hemet, you, like, know Hemet is Hemet. Hemet, I feel like get a bad rap because some of the stuff that goes on. Yeah. Um, but every city got bad parts. Every city got nice parts. Yep. Um. But him and, like, that's where it all started, so I can't knock it for sure. That's where, mm -hmm. like, all my friends is at, my family. So, yep. um, yeah, lingo, really, that's just, I wouldn't even, lingo just, like, regular for us. That's just, like, how, like, our group talk. Yeah. And then, um, what are some of the, the the words that are specific to you guys? What are we saying? Macking, crow. Like, like, oh, that's macking. Yeah. Um, like, I'll be noticing, like, emojis we use and shit. Okay. A lot of people start using. I'm like, yeah. okay. Like, Wiggling. Right or wiggle, that's that's like Spain. That's yeah. Spain. Um, but not nah, Spain got a big influence too. Yeah, like the wiggle nation and all that. For yeah, sure. and that just means what like, oh wiggle. Macarena. What is Macarena? Oh mean? Macarena. That's like that's me and Spain's song. But like yeah. I don't know. Like wiggle do your thing, Macarena. I don't know. Bounce out and do your thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, talk about the connection with with um with Spank Nitty James because he's the first person. I personally know like repping Hemet and doing it really well to mm -hmm. where he had me rethinking like, do I really know what Hemet is? Like, I, maybe <laughs> I don't know because he's talking about uh, don't step on the couches unless your shoes are worth a thousand dollars. And I'm just like, okay, they're getting money in Hemet. Okay, all right. Yeah. Tell me about that and just um, you guys, you know, making music together and and being cool. So um, with Spank, like everybody in Hemet that heard Spank, so when he had reached out. That was like a, a big milestone for me too. I'm Dope. like, okay, like we doing something. Yeah. Um. Then when he sent the song, I'm like, oh shit! All right, we doing this for shit. So. Like, yeah. But um, yeah, he had been viral. Um, and plus when I'm locked up too, I'm watching his videos too. I'm watching yeah. a lot of rappers. I'm like, like, like this shit hit different for shit. So yeah. when you watching it from a from a distance. Yeah. And so it seems like you and like your squad are like the the youngest up-and-comers right yeah. how does that feel to just be like you know like yeah spank nitty they're like i mean they're a little bit older right like, what, yeah, like older. mid 20s or something yeah yeah like so you guys are just like way younger like the young guns um you know and does that what does that come with there's a there's another side of that right to where it's like you guys are getting more famous and now it's like now some people might not like you more or whatever like type shit yeah talk yeah. about that um i mean it's hate I say like the love for sure. I was trying to hate. Okay. But when plus two, like when I was locked up, I already knew like like it's gonna come with hate. Yeah. The way I look at it is, the more haters I have, like I'm doing something right. 
Yeah. So I should have more haters. You know, yeah, that, that's how I see it. But I'm like, it don't matter. Like, like you could be a fucking fisherman. People are gonna hate on you, so True. you might as well do what you want. Have people hate on you. You feel me? Yeah, no, absolutely. But, um, yeah, a lot of that. But I love my city. They show they show a lot of love for sure. That's fire. What's um, what's one thing that's like, you know, you're from Hemet if like finish the sentence. You know about the Hemet Mall. Okay, <laughs> talk to me about the Hemet Mall because I didn't know Hemet had a mall. <laughs> And then you said in the song that. that my circle is small as him and Maul. So I was yeah. like, okay, so it must not be that that big. Yeah, I'm a fucking little, bro. It's like a, we call it him and Hall. Cause that shit go one Hall. way. <laughs> it's one floor. Um, it got a food court. I'm being there for the food and shit, but not to shop. And what, what stores are in there? What? What is it? Like Sears? It's nut, but like <laughs> Bed Bath, <laughs> Sears. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was bro. Foot Locker, once they left, lost Foot Locker, they lost they yeah. lost a lot of shit, bro. Wow. Um, any plans to like do anything with the Hemet Mall? Like, I mean, <laughs> this is future we're talking. Like, let's say, you know, you get a big bag. Is there anything you would wanna do like on your bucket list? Like, I wanna do this, I wanna buy the Hemet Mall, I wanna put my store in here. Anything or no? Or is um, it just like you no, know, that that shit's like it's over with? Store in there is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe not there. A, like a toy drive or okay. like a um a backpack drive. Something okay. for sure. Yeah, something Bring for it the there. Community. Cause it's it's a nice it's like a nice space to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that for sure. Okay. Um. Let's manifest some things. So let's say you get a big bag. Are you moving out of him or are you staying? Or like, is there a nice part that you can move to, or are you just getting the fuck out? I'm already kind of like out of him. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. But. I know what you mean. Because um, the girl uh, that I dated, her her house was fat. It was a fat crib. She had like five, six bedroom house. Yeah, yeah like I said, it's nice perks yeah. for sure. Um, yeah, I would I would want to stay kind of local, like Inland Empire, but not not him for sure. Not him and you feel like you got to bounce out? Yeah, type shit. I feel it. Plus like police too. Police mm. play a big part in it too. Do they be on you like that? Yeah, but they be like, um, like all my people was like mm. tripping, like. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, in five years, what's like an ideal position for Bandit the Mac to be in? Like, where do you see yourself? Um. Shit. Hopefully, number one. <laughs> but nah. I I wanna uh I wanna sign to a major and like kind of like have like my own little label. Yeah. Do something like that. Um. Hire my own A and R, have like a talent scout yep. for like Inland Empire for like people that was like us once, you know? Yeah. Um that I do want to start a clothing brand. Like once yep. my following get a little bit more bigger. Yeah. Um uh I do I wanna branch out to like the the cannabis, you know. Yeah. The cannabis industry, they got they got it booming. Do something like that. Maybe get like a collaborative uh, dispensary or something. Yeah. I seen Peso had like these little, um, like these six block wax pens or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. That's just all that weird. shit, yeah. You'll see. The minute you get just like popping, all these shit just comes out of like nowhere. People are just like, hey, do this, let's do this, let's do that. Yeah. That's dope. Um, I like that your head is there, like kind of moving. It's like, yeah, I want to be big in music, but I'll obviously like outside, I want to build some shit. For sure. Because that's really the way to do it. A lot of times the music is a platform, you know, and if you do sign to majors, a lot of times you're getting you know, a percent of what your music is earning. And then after that, it's like, okay, well, if this shit starts, you know, to stop streaming so much or, you know, some artists don't like, look at like a Kendrick, like they in a Drake, like they only tour every couple of years because their tours are so big. Mm -hmm. And like those show checks are fire, but you can only do so many shows, you mm -hmm. know, like even from like me doing um, podcasting, it's like when we do live shows, it's like we can't just keep doing a live show every month. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's, we're going to burn out the market. So, like, we did one last year in December. It's a pretty nice check. But we're like, okay, we can't just keep going to L.A. and keep doing it again and again. You know, it has to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, that's good. It, and there has to be different avenues, you know, for, yeah, for you to You got to switch it up. Exactly. Um, what's your take on the IE rap scene? Because it's stronger than I've ever seen it, like, in my life. Like, by far. I'm like, there's a new dope rapper I'm discovering every month or so. Yeah. Just tell me about <clears throat> being a part of that. And just, like, from your point of view, you know, all the encompassing cities like San Bernardino, 
but there's Rialto, Moreno Valley. Um, it seemed like every city got like a somebody who rap. Yeah, and it's 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 good to see because like that light finally shedding on us. So yeah, um, I feel like it was long overdue. But I, I just feel like everybody got to capitalize on it while it's here. Because, yeah. you know, with, with music, everybody dope. So mm-hmm. it could be IE right now and then boom, LA and boom, New York. So yeah. we just we got to take advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, are there any artists in IE that you want to collaborate with? Um, do the damn thing. Um, Duda, that's the homie. Yeah. yeah he's we, dope. We, we, we trying to lock something in. Um, shit. I'm trying to think who else. Young No, um, fuck, who else? I got a bad memory. Them like like the two main ones. Yeah. Like I'm trying to get something with right now, for yeah, sure. That's dope. Okay, outside of California, are there any other artists, like, just in general that inspired you or that, you know, you're, like, a, like a fan of? You can kind of point to your, your music and it's just like, yeah, I want to be in that position one day or mm. anything like that. I'll say K-Flock. I need K-Flock. Like the movement he de- he had yeah um, he's hard a little dirt an apology yeah um like icons I can't say that yeah um fuck who else I listen to a lot of music but like when people ask me I, I always yeah. draw blank um nah, that's blast. a dope list right there oh, blast, blast hardest fuck yeah but that's yeah blast. that's fire shit hell yeah um anything else you want to tell people before we get out of here. Um, run them streams up, run them YouTube views up. Any new projects coming out? I know you just dropped one in July, but um, I got a single drop in the twenty sixth. I don't know when this is gonna be out, but okay, single drop in twenty sixth. It might be out by the time y'all watching this. Yep. Go run that up, Suicide Squad. Yep. Um, yeah, that's about it. Bandit the Mac on all platforms, Instagram, social. Shout everything. out the homies that came through too. Oh, my, follow my boy Buddha One K yeah. on Instagram. My that's boy One K O Summer. Go fuck with their music too. They Hell yeah. My guy, Ben at the Mac, Rosecrans Vic, Rosecrans Vic Podcast. Yes, sir. Yeah.